In today's video, we are reviewing a tool that will help you create your own textures from photos and images. You can do that in Photoshop and import them later in your 3D program to use them as materials. It is called the Light Action. We're gonna see how it can contribute to your 3D creation pipeline and how you can use it to get good results and accurate materials. So what are Photoshop Actions? Actions in Photoshop are a series of steps recorded by users to quickly apply effects without going through the steps again to redo everything. They are often used to avoid repetitive tasks and speed up the process. Each day, numerous Photoshop actions are being made and sold, allowing users to take advantage of other creators' work or share their effects. With that being said, the light is an action that will help you create an albedo texture from an image that may contain light information on the object's surface, including undesirable shadows and overlit parts, which aren't needed in a color map at all. Let's just say, for example, you want to make a Cantaloupe 3 model from scratch. As it has a simple shape, you can quickly model the mesh and start thinking about the materials. You will need at least a color map and a normal map to make it look good. So you can either buy the actual fruit and take pictures of it and browse the internet hoping to find usable image textures. Assuming you chose the second option and jump to Google searching for Cantaloupe textures, you can download a bunch. You will find out that most of them contain shades because the fruit has spherical geometry and unless it was lit in every direction, it is difficult to get an image that can be used as a color map without some tweaking. That's why you need to jump to Photoshop where the delight action will do the job for you by automatically removing the light from your image. You can also generate a normal map using Photoshop 3D filter pretty easily. In order to use the light, you need first to import the action to Photoshop. In the window drop menu, select Actions to open the Actions window. Click the small menu icon in the top right corner and choose Load Actions. Then select your Delight Action file and it's now ready to use. You can now import the photo you want to remove the lighting from and make sure to rename its layer to Delight. Run the action and let the magic happen. You can later on change the intensity of the effect in real time by double clicking on the High Pass Smart layer and changing the radius value. Also using the Restore Color layer, you can tweak the opacity for more accurate results. It is set to 100% by default, but according to the developer, in some cases setting it to 50% can give better results. If you found this add-on interesting, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.